Yo! Well, what should I do now? I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but I don't know what to do. I don't think there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it! I'll go up to the roof or something! I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. Most of the girls are already gone. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. They want candy so much, why don't they just buy some themselves? Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. I'm not that pathetic. Come on, man. I can get quite a lot from part-time workers at Jeunesse. The important thing is that I have any at all. Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Right, Yukiko? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I like candy. What makes you think it's going to you? It might be for me. Don't be so desperate! And I brought some too! Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing! Here you go, Chie-senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow, putting a new spin on things! She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. Hey, what about him? I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. Does that mean... I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. So, see you later. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! Wow, her ability to avoid personal drama is impressive. Oh, Natokun! What are you all doing together? What's that supposed to mean? Today's a huge deal. Ah, uh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me. She never breaks a sweat. Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. 
Sure, why not? I totally feel like we missed the train here. Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Well, I I've got to go back to the inn and help out. Good luck, Chie. Yukiko? Man, Yukiko's being even bossier than normal. I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. Oh, this is chocolate for everyone in it. Take yours and go home. What the hell? Talk about being brushed off. Well, you don't want yours? I'll take it. God, you moron, of course I want it. No one can bother us here. I've got you all to myself. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, this is for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. I knew you'd notice how special it is. I added durian and habanero to it. Anyone can just melt some chocolate and pour it into a mold. Where's the love in that? So I added a bit of originality. I'm certain you'll like it. What's the matter? Oh, eat it now. I worked so hard on it. I want to see your happy face. Aren't you glad, Senpai? <sighs> Fine then. I forgive you. But you'll have to tell me what you think later. The only thing I can hear is the sound of the waves. It's like we're all alone in the world. I'm going to tell you my dreams. I haven't told anyone else. I want to work and go to college. I think I could study lots of things. And during all that, I want to have a serious relationship with a man I love and get married on a tropical island and live in a house with a big yard and get a big dog. I'll cook and live happily with my husband. And then when we're old, we're gonna drink tea every day by the garden, together. Just kidding, I'm such a weirdo. It's good to be normal, and I'm sure I'd be really, really happy with him. Senpai, by a man I love, I meant you. Right now it's just a dream, but it's important to me. So I want to make all my dreams come true, one by one, with you at my side. Whoa, well, <laughs> you can't take that back. Did you know, Senpai? People were born from the sea. I feel like we're Adam and Eve right now, just the two of us here. Eve was Adam's wife, so... That means Adam gets to have Eve all to himself. You're late. I don't get it. What, do you know why I'm here? <laughs> you really are an oddball. I have chocolate. You can have it. That 
room doesn't have any eclectic Lautwitz. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, you're too straightforward. I, I hate you, stupid. That's why you're so popular. You can eat it. If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. When you eat it, um, I want you to tell me whether it was good or not, now. You ate it all? That's incredible, are you stupid? Well, it, it makes my work worth it. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual, huh? I looked it up. I thought it was some big event, you know, a turning point of your life. I'm so lame. I was fooled, I feel stupid. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... And, and... And you can just shut your stupid jerk face! I am calm. Look, just close your eyes. Shut up and close them. Thank you. Well, I don't really get it, but it looks like I don't just like you. I want to be with you forever and ever. I love you. I love you so much. She gave it to me. She said, It's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. <laughs> really? And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me? My dad and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. The big 
girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. That's why I made one for you. Chie said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Oh, and bacon, since everyone likes bacon. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Risei-chan said that the chocolate should assert itself, so it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. You're a grown-up, big bro, so I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive, so I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Um, Big Bro, thank you. I love you. Good morning. <laughs> well, let's go.
All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Can I go answer the door? Oh, yeah. That's right. Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. Are you going out? Be careful! You have come. Now, close your eyes. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. Mm. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. <laughs> oh, Senpai!
Uh...
you. very happy. Thank you. I'll see you later.
Yo!
Thank you. I apologize.
Hey! Yo, well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. No more senpai from t tomorrow on! <laughs> hey, quit crying. It's way too soon for that. Sheesh. Uh, that stuff's kind of contagious, you know? We, uh, we gotta put on a good face for Senpai. It will be alright. We can see him again at any time should we choose. 
The long holidays are coming up soon in May, so you better come back to visit. I've already reserved rooms at our inn. Let's have another sleepover. This time, our surprise sneak attack won't fail! Is it me or is that guy getting more and more aggressive lately? April? I don't want you to go away! Nanako, didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? Building a case against Adachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. And Nanako's better now, too. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. We'll always be here. Come back anytime you want. I'll be at Juness too. I'm gonna keep working there and living at Yosuke's place. At this rate, you'll be a full-time employee. Reigning over the store as Juness's idol. Pretty cool, eh, baby? Hell no. Juness doesn't need an idol. But, you know, I am a little worried about the other world. That world still exists, even now. There is no longer anyone deliberately using it for evil, but we have no assurance that it won't happen again. If it does, Senpai, we'll expect your full cooperation. Now, Dokun! Don't even joke about that! It's almost time. You better get on the train. Come back anytime you want. We can eat ramen again. Me and Daisuke will definitely come crash at your place someday. If anything happens, you can always come back here. I'll be waiting for you. As soon as I can look out for myself, I'll go see you. Well, see ya. Good luck over there, too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running! Until we meet again, Senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Well, be careful. I'll see you, Big Fro. Bye-bye. <laughs> Still friends! <laughs>